I'm Nico, and I'm the founder of 4 till 4. It was started when I was probably 16 or 17. It was a license plate, and the name stuck. You know, this is my life's work. I guess the start of it is, you know, it's first cars, and then it was coffee. And somehow with luck and passion, I was able to stitch those two together. I opened up the cafe as a place for people to come together, specifically car people. What I believe in, what I enjoy, what I enjoy to be around, you know, my life is coffee and cars. When I was in the military, when I was in school, I'd always have a 356. They were always a part of my life. And it was always a different 356. It was just, that was the baseline for my entire life. It's hard to explain why this is so meaningful to me. And I think a lot of it is Back from 1992, hearing stories of my dad's ties with these cars. One of the last cars I worked on with my dad was from a guy who had old mattresses that were sitting on top of it. And even with the car, it was a shell with a bunch of boxes. Like, that was the story. That was, that was so fun and interesting and hearing his ties with that car. And so for me, it was, I never had this vision of painting it and getting new parts and, and, and making it into something that it wasn't because I was drawn to what I saw. For me, the car tells a story exactly how it is. These cars are so simple. They serve a purpose for me. They, they're daily drivers. They can be left outside. Like there's smells and there's rattles and there's like, there's these, like you don't know if you're gonna break down. And I, I love that. It's like, so many different components coming together. I don't really think there's necessarily any challenges. I, I really love the idea of viewing it as a game and just playing the game. When it comes to coffee, you either have a farm relationship or you buy green coffee. And when you get the green coffee, you have to decide how you want the finished product to be. Coffee is very special to me. And it's not just a beverage. It's, it's not just something I'm trying to perfect. It's a process as well. All the cliches about old cars are true. And they're, they're so direct, you know, gas, sounds, go, you know, these, these things are really powerful. And there's a whole community out there that's still drawn to it. It's like me, it's, it's, I'm just one of those people. People who aren't car people and don't like old cars, they don't get it, you know, so. I think the same thing happens with coffee. But that was that was it. We don't have to <laughs> we don't have to go more on that. <laughs>